These are devotions for people at a social distance. This is Holy Saturday. And Holy Saturday traditionally is a day for people to pause and reflect, uh, particularly on their own mortality, as Christ lies dead in the tomb. And the question is, is there any hope? Is there any hope beyond the grave? And we are asked on this day to maybe dwell and think of the possibility that maybe the answer is no. And uh, in, in this morning, in my devotions, I was reading in the book of Job and came across what's really a, a wonderful bit of poetry, a bit of reflection on mortality. Uh, it is Job who is speaking, and he uh, begins like this. A mortal, born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow, and does not last. But there's another image a couple of verses later in verse 7 that really spoke to me, I think, where we are today. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease, though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground. Yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. So he seems to be suggesting, yeah, there's there's this, this sense of immortality in a tree. A tree can rebud. Even if the, the stump dies, there is always the possibility of a new sprout growing up. And, you know, you go walking in the woods these days and you see all kinds of evidence of even trees that have fallen and, and new growth that is coming up. And, uh, you know, it, it speaks of something in the very nature of the tree that God has put into the tree. Uh, that that regenerates life, that there are new beginnings. But, Job goes on, but mortals died and they are laid low. Humans expire. And where are they? As waters fail from a lake and a river wastes up and dries away, so mortals lie down and do not rise again. Until the heavens are no more, they will not wake or be roused out of their sleep. So death for us for us mortals, is the end. But that's the reflection that Job comes to. And that is really the reflection on Holy Saturday. It's where we are. We are in the grave. We're at the end. Christ is at the end. They got him. They crucified him. They laid him low. And if there is any hope, any hope beyond the grave, it is not to be found in our nature, in who we are. But of course, the message of Easter is that there is hope. There is hope beyond the grave. Why? Not because there was something in Jesus that made him rise. Not because there's something in us that makes us immortal in ourselves. No, it is God who raised Jesus from the dead. It is God who gives us new life. Not because it's our nature, but because it is the nature of a loving and gracious God to give us life beyond the grave. We are in the grave. Our hope is in God. That is where we are on Holy Saturday. Lord God, thank you that in Jesus Christ, you meet us and you met us in our mortality, in the despair of what it is to be human. But thank you also that that is not the full story. That is not the end of the story. Amen.